I think the main thing is education. Education. I started, and when I started, I didn't really have a lot of education. And I could have scaled a lot faster if I had the information. All right, so we're sitting here at the Jake and Gino event, Multifamily Mastery 4, 2021. I've got with me Annette Tali, and where I met Annette uh, initially was at this very conference in 2019. She actually did a Facebook Live with me. She said, Bruce, you know, give our listeners three to five tips on how to get started. What would you do? So that's how I met Annette. So Annette, glad, I'm glad to run into you again. What have you been up to? What's been going on? Wow, I've been so busy since we met. And when you gave us those amazing th tips for uh, the three expert tips that I have on my podcast on, on um, YouTube, you know, I was starting. I hadn't done any syndication deals at the time. Uh, I had, I was, I owned at that point 12 units. And since then, I've grown into my first syndication, 194 units in Ohio. And we are doing really good on that project. We're getting ready to sell early because the market has been so good and we're able to give our investors a great return in a much shorter time. And I've been also doing uh, partnerships in Florida. Uh, I recently bought a 13 unit, a nine unit and an eight unit with my partners down here in Florida. And it's been amazing, very, very busy. That's really cool. So I'm gonna flip the script a little bit, right? Last time we talked, give me three expert tips, Bruce. Well, I wanna spend that to you now. For people that are just starting out and listening and seeing this on TikTok or YouTube or wherever they're gonna see it, they wanna do what you're doing. Give me one or two key pieces of advice that you think would help somebody just starting out. I think the main thing is education. Education. I started, and when I started, I didn't really have a lot of education. and. I could have scaled a lot faster if I had the information. You know, my first deal, I bought it cash instead of leveraging my money. Like now that I think about it, I could have bought four properties with the same money yep. if I knew that. But it all comes up, uh, to education. Um, sometimes it's hard for a new person to spend the money educating your, yourself. Uh, but you can grow so much far, uh, faster if you do uh, the right education. So education. And then the, the main thing for me that has helped me grow is networking. Networking in events like this where you meet people that are really, really doing what you want to do. Like when I met you, you know, you gave me such amazing tips that I, you know, started uh, implementing right. in my business. And, you know, like you, I met a hundred more people that were doing what I wanted to do and getting all, the, all those um, uh, interesting ideas that I was able to implement in my business helped me grow faster than I thought. So education, spend the money if you are able. And there is also a lot of information that is free online. Uh, your podcast or your book, I'm sorry, my podcast, uh, Jake and Gino's podcast, yep. Bigger Packets. There's so many resources out there that you can do that are low cost or free. Uh, but if you want to grow fast, paying for education uh, is worth Right. So I want to go back to what you said, too, that uh, education was your first answer. And you talked about how you bought your first property with cash. I just want people to understand there's no right way or wrong way. There's a more efficient way. She could have done it with leverage as she learned. But you took action. You learn a better way after that. But even owning outright with cash is still owning real estate, which is always a good thing. If you do it with a coach, if you do it with somebody that can teach you how to do it, or at least do a lot of YouTube watching until you can afford a coach, as she's mentioned, but you took action. That's the biggest thing that I took from that, that maybe you didn't do it as well as maybe you thought you should have, but you learned, you didn't lose money, and you got off the sidelines, swallowed your fear, and moved. Because I'm sure it was nerve-wracking. Oh, it was. It was. And it took me a year to buy that property, right? Because it's your first property. You are looking at everything. Nothing is good enough until you get the confidence to, to, to make that move. Uh, but that property, at the end of the day, we refinanced three years later. We took out more cash than we invested. And it's still cash flowing. I still own it. The rents when I bought it were $500. Now they are $1,000 wow. each side. Wow. You know, so it's uh, it's... It was an amazing investment. I could have maybe done better, yes, but it was, you know, with the money of that cash out, I bought a six unit uh, building. So it was an amazing investment. Uh, obviously, I could have done better, yes, but it was amazing. Right. So, again, another interesting part that first deal turned into another deal. My very first deal, I bought a 48 unit apartment complex as a syndication my first time out. That first deal, I didn't take a promote. 
I didn't get any premium. It, it was important for me to just get a deal under my belt. Well, that first deal turned into two more deals from me. The profit from that deal turned into two additional personal stakes in other properties. So one deal turned into three. That happens quite often. Again, it's because you got out there, you took action, you, you weren't too afraid to move. Again, maybe you could have done it better, but you did really well. You got the ball rolling and now you're on to bigger and better things. So really happy for you, really proud of you. I'm so glad we ran into each other again. As you know, if there's ever anything I can do to help you, anything in a network that I can assist with, let me know. But thank you so much for spending some time with me. Yeah, no, thank you. It was amazing to see you again.